Hello and welcome to a Time Bomb video review. Today we have the Prometheus Piranha. Prometheus is a Portuguese micro brand and the Piranha is a 500 meter automatic dive watch. It has an MSRP of 339 euro. First of all, I need to just show you this case. I think it's fantastic. The angles on here, the combination of finishes, you've got brushed finish for the bezel for most of the case itself and then you've got this great polished beveled character line going from lug to lug on either side and polished uh, highlights on the grip around the bezel. Love the way that works. Um, this is a 44 millimeter case and because of the angles and the curve of the case, you have a slight curvature in profile the lugs are slightly angled on the inside as well. It actually fits very easily over your wrist despite uh, its kind of large proportions. We're talking 44 millimeters in diameter, 52 millimeters from lug to lug, and then 14.2 millimeters thick, which really, as far as dive watches go, is not that bad. The way it falls away from the center makes it wear a little bit smaller than you might expect, uh, which is particularly nice if you have six and a half inch wrists like myself. The reflections on here, I think, really make the watch. Uh, it, this combination of surfaces, you've got that lower plane underneath, then you've got the high sides that partially shroud the bezel, You've got the steep angles down on the lugs. And then, as I mentioned before, that polished line along the, uh, the case sides really creates a lot of visu visual interest. Um, there's a, a lot to look at on this watch. And I, I really do appreciate it when a company goes the extra mile for case design. I also love the uh, tall uh, sapphire crystal here that little lip there, and I know some people are going to say that's going to make it more prone to chipping, and that's probably true, but um, again, I, I love the reflection that carries. It's yet another nice touch on here, and none of these polished surfaces or reflections make it look uh, eh, gaudy or blingy in any way. It just creates a little bit more complexity in the design. Uh, I do like that. Obviously this has a lot of 1970s influence in the design, but it doesn't look like any particular 70s watch. And given the, the size and the shape of it, you're not going to mistake it for a vintage piece. This is clearly a very modern design. Around back, we have a cartoon engraving of a uh, piranha. Um, this watch, I think as I mentioned, is a 500 meter dive watch, which means it probably will be found 499 meters deeper than your average piranha, which is kind of amusing. If you were to unscrew that and crack it open, you would find the ubiquitous Miyota 9015 automatic, 24 joules, 28.8 thousand beats per minute, very smooth, very reliable, um, a very common unit. Um, we've seen them in a lot of micros and um, they, they do very well. I, I, this is a sought-after unit. The dial is, I have to say, a little bit busy, but clearly legible. The large markers <clears throat> uh, definitely command the stage. Um, very readable, high contrast. They've got eight layers of C3 superluminova on here, so when the lights go off, this glows like a torch, and there's no question about um, legibility. The brushed bezel, a little less so. These are painted in white um, in those recesses, but it's not, uh, it's not C3. Only the, the bezel pip is C3. Not a big deal, though. I wish there was a little more breathing room inside that dial. Um, you've got the Prometheus logo, which is very attractive as far as they go. There we go. A little bit long. Um, so it takes a lot of real estate at the top, and it makes sense, let me show you, to balance it out a little bit at the bottom. 
you see automatic 500 meters uh, 1650 feet had that not been there uh, I think it might have opened up a little bit but I do see why you would want to balance out the Prometheus brand at the top while I'm on it we have a screw down crown also decorated with a cast image of the Prometheus flame which I think is great I, I love a, a decorated crown and the crown itself very large and you can see just how deep the uh, the sculpting is on there. This would be no problem to operate with wet hands or with uh, with gloves. Um, of course, operates very easily. Wind that sucker up. Screws down. Smooth. Not a problem. This is a, a legitimate diver's tool. Uh, rated for 500 meters. Sapphire crystal. Screw down case back screw down crown, but also helium release valve, which, let's face it, you don't really need that if you're diving unless you're a commercial saturation diver, but a super cool item, very nice to have. Um, there's something reassuring about knowing that this watch will dive uh, very easily to depths that most of its owners would never even dream about. Bezel it's got fantastic action. I mean, some of the best that I've, I've encountered. 60 clicks. Firm, but easy to move. And each one, a sharp, mechanical detent every time it hits. You've got that nice click. Good movement all the way around. Absolutely no play. Uh, I love that. When a, when a bezel feels like a, a well-oiled machine, that's one of those things that makes me happy. The strap is about the only thing that lets me down on the watch. It's um, a nice design. It definitely has that 70s vibe to it, very much like an isoframe, but it's polyurethane. I hate polyurethane. It's a little stiff for my taste. I find it uncomfortable on the wrist. Um, Honestly, I would swap this out for a natural rubber strap as quickly as possible. When I did, though, I would make sure that it would accept this great engraved, again, isoframe style buckle. Overall, I think this represents an excellent value. This is an incredibly capable watch. I think it's remarkably good looking and intelligently designed. <clears throat> and right now, you can get it on sale and uh, with the benefit of a strong dollar for $322 and that includes FedEx International Priority Shipping. For this watch that is an outstanding bargain. So $322 that gives you plenty of money left over to upgrade the strap if you're so inclined and that's the only real quibble I have with the watch itself. Overall a uh, fantastic piece, an excellent bargain and I would say the Time Bomb strongly approves. Thank you very much, and I hope you read more of my reviews on thetimebomb.com.